In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you the second component to any effective defense in Madden 21, and that is the ability to be able to run a match defense or match style of defensive uh, strategy. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, my channel is all about helping people become the best Madden player that they can possibly become. And so if you are looking to get better at this game, we upload videos every single day that are designed to help you get better both on the offensive side of the ball as well as the defensive side of the ball. And so if you're looking to get better at this game, I just want to encourage you to click the subscribe button at the bottom right hand corner of your screen. It's completely free to subscribe and it just allows you to be able to know whenever we release a new video. Now in this video, we're talking about the nickel 335 wide defense and why it is the best defense in Madden. We're talking about how you go about actually building an effective defense. What are the components you want to look for and how do you start to kind of put this together? And so the, the first step that we talked about yesterday's video, we talked about run defense, the importance of being able to always stop the run. And we talked about a very, very good uh, run defense from the nickel 335 wide cover two man with the spine of the safeties and certain types of shifts that we could create so that we could basically shoot the gap and be able to stop pretty much every run in the game. Now in this video, what we're talking about is we're talking about our first step to pass defense. And our first step to pass defense is the ability to play match defense. And actually, I, I would prefer, in, especially in this year's game, starting with match defense as my base defense. And so the play we're going to be going over today is the nickel 335 wide cover four show two. Now, um, you might think that this is a cover four drop style of defense, but it's actually a cover four quarters um, principle defense, which means it's gonna basically play like a cover four quarters or a cover four match style of defense. And so that's kind of what we're gonna use. And again, if you wanna get the complete guide, the finished product is available in the description, it has every component that you need. The 335 wide is the best defense in the entire game. And we've been running this since June of 2020. It's been the best defense for probably the last two years, honestly. But anyways, we're going to focus in on the Cover 4 Show 2 in this video and how to go about using it. So the first step with the Cover 4 Show 2 is, again, you want to understand the coverage. Any good coverage can always break. It's always There's always a, a, a principle that can break up a coverage. And so part of being a, an effective defensive mind, an effective player, is understanding, okay, if I'm going to run this coverage, I need to know where it's vulnerable. And so uh, what we're going to do here is we're going to kind of wiggle our user before we audible down, and then we're going to audible down. As you see right here, my user doesn't move, and that's actually a very big deal. From that point, we're going to set up kind of our shotgun run defense, which is to shift our defensive line to the right and to put our user kind of right in this little pocket right here, just like so. From that point, then we're going to start making our adjustments, okay, whatever those adjustments might be. Now, there is a little bit of an argument to shifting our defensive line this direction just so we can have a plus one advantage on the left side with our coverage. You can do either one, okay? Um, the, the, the run is... The run is easier to stop if you shift them to the right, uh, in my personal opinion, though. So we're going to shift them to the right. Okay. The next step that we're going to take here is we are actually going to go ahead and we are going to man up onto the circle receiver, just like so. And we're going to shade coverage inside. The reason we do that is because the biggest problem in trip side in, and this is kind of my, my, my biggest principle that I can give you for any cover four quarters or cover four match defense. Typically, those defenses play very, very effectively, but there, there are always one receiver that kind of messes it up. In every formation, there's always one receiver. So in the bunch, in the bunch, in the bunch tight end, typically that receiver is the outside receiver of the bunch. In the trips tight end, it is the inside receiver. It is the circle receiver right here. He's the one that typically gives us the most amount of challenges. And so we're going to man him up just like this. Now, what I like to do is I like to just shade coverage inside, and what that's going to do is it's going to kind of tell my guy that's me in coverage to kind of shade him to the inside. Ideally, he's going to press him. So you'll see right here, um, you see that he presses him right there. Now, if he gets roasted like that, he gets roasted like that. But it's just kind of an initial bump. It's an initial kind of thing that is going to really help us. Now, you'll see right here, if I don't move my user, that's what happens. So again, anyways, we want to shift this direction. We want to drop our defensive lineman on the outside, so that's Gary in this example, into a three-rec hook zone. 
This is going to do a good job against running back option routes, running back, uh, running back uh, angle routes, and things like that. Okay, drags, motion slants. That's what a three rec really does a good job against. And then as you can see here, we're going to take circle and we're going to man him up just like this. Okay, now this defense right here is pretty darn good. Um, this this match defense, see you're taking away tight end corners. If they try to throw a tight end corner on you from trips tight end, you're going to intercept it nine times out of ten. Nine times out of ten, this is going to intercept intercept those those types of passes. And so what you want to understand, though, about your quarter's defense, okay, this is the biggest thing that I can tell you about understanding it. When you're putting a defense together, you have to understand where am I vulnerable? What are the things that they can do that is going to actually matter? What are the routes that they can go to? What are the concepts? What are the passing plays? What are the things that they can do to, to, to counter this? The best counter that I have found from Tripside in for this style of defense is to play doubles in sale and to put that square receiver over there on an op, on a little out route, okay? And the reason why we want to put that square receiver on an out route is because it's going to take that outside quarter and it's going to pull him down. And what's going to basically happen is I'm going to have a one-on-one -on -one matchup with this guy. But as you can see here, I mean, they kind of play back on it. And that's, again, why we want to man that guy up. That is the most important reason as to why we want to man him up. Because in the situation where they basically glitch out our, co our quarters coverage, let me show you what would happen if we didn't man him up. So let's just say we just dropped him into a three wreck. Maybe we dropped this guy into a vert hook or something like this. You know, we tried to go a little bit more middle field coverage. What you're going to notice is if I go to doubles and sail here, um, I should have a pretty good, effect, pretty effective little route combination. You're going to see here that the circle receiver is basically wide open, and as you can see, you know I'm I'm getting very very good yardage, very good bang for my buck with that. So that's where again you want to understand again what are the things, what are the what is the what is the lead domino, what is the what is the right handedness of my opponent, who is the player, who is the route, where is the route going that they want to throw most of the time. About ninety to actually I would say probably about eighty percent of the time, the routes that your opponent wants to hit is primarily going to be that inside slot receiver. That is why we man him up. Obviously, we get better coverage. Quarters does naturally understand, okay, well, he's manned up, so that now means you know I can do this, this, and this differently because I know I know that this guy's manned up. That's that's obviously you know a, a, another reason for this. But you'll see I'm gonna run the same route combination, and now what you're gonna see is I'm one on one. I'm one on one with him. Now, will he beat me occasionally? Occasionally, yes, he will. Occasionally, if you've got a good receiver there, that guy will win. But if you, especially in Mutt, if you have a, a, a really good corner there, maybe I would honestly, if you were going to put one step ahead on one person, it would be the person that's going to, it would be the person that's going to cover that guy. Okay. If you wanted to put one step ahead on one person, it would be on, on that guy right there. Okay. And the reason why is because in your quarters coverage, you're always going to man up the problem. So the way the 335 wide quarters works, and this is how we're going to wrap up this video. Um, now, again, if you want to get the whole 335 wide defensive guide and walks you through not just how to play match, we have a one hour segment on match defense in the guide, but we also walk you through how to play all of the other components of the coverage. But for a moment here, I just want to sit on this and I want to share this with you. So if you look at the 335 wide and you look at the defense, whenever we kind of set up this from right here, we don't have to rush four. Okay, there's really no advantage to that. This year's game, you either rush two people or you rush five to six people, okay? You either rush two people or you rush five to six people. So based off of that knowledge right there, okay, based off of that knowledge right there, then that now tells me, okay, I can take this guy and I can do whatever it is that I want to do with him. I can bluff blitz him. I can put him in a curl flat. I can put him in a, a, a seam flat. I can put him in a vert. Anything I want to do with him, I can do. What I want to do is I want to man him up, okay? And then on this guy right here, any any one of these three. Now, honestly, if we were talking specifically about coverage, defense, and pressure, I would rather put this guy in a three rec because now I have a one-on-one -on -one with Gary on the right side, which is the side that they're going to roll out to. But for the run, it's much, much better if you do this, okay? So if you know it's a pass, do that one. And if you know it's a run or if, it, if you're worried it might be a run, then do that, okay? And this is where, you know, again, every single 335 wide cover four show two, 
you can drop one of the linemen and you can drop that blitzing linebacker into a coverage. Almost always, I will man this guy up on whoever the problem is. So if it's Bunch, I'm going to man him up on a different guy. Like, I'll, I'll literally audible across here. So if I go to Bunch, right, um, obviously we would need to flip the play here and kind of re regather ourselves a little bit. But you see here, blitzing linebacker, he gets banned up on circle. This guy goes in three rec, right, just like this. And it's, it's basically the same defense, right? Literally pretty much exactly the same defense, except now what we've done is we've just manned this guy up on a different player. That's the only difference. It's the only change. And so what I would encourage you to do is you're building this defense. Where you want to start with your quarters is you want to start with who is the problem? Who is the problem receiver? Is it the slot receiver? It's If you're in trips, uh, three wide receiver sets where they're spread out, so, for example, if I was in a set like this, uh, if, I was in, if I was in a set like this here, like a trips, then I would almost always want to man up on the slot, okay? But if I'm in a, a compression set, if I'm in a compression set, then I want to consider manning up the outside receiver, okay? So those are some of the ways that you can navigate this. But this is how you stop uh, trips tight end and kind of the starting point, the foundation uh, for the match defense. So again, the first component to an effective defense is the ability to stop the run. The second component to an effective defense is the ability to run match defense. And we're going to talk about the next component to an important defense tomorrow, which is to be able to run an effective zone defense or zone drop style of defense. We're going to share with you what I would be the most consistent way to run a zone drop style of defense in this game. I want to thank you for watching this video, and I want to encourage you, if you have not got the 335 wide defensive guide, it is simply put the best defense in the entire game. It is the best defense in the entire game, and if you want to learn how to run it, you can get that defensive guide for just $15. I'm going to leave a link to that in the description. If you have any questions, feel free to text me. My number is 208 218-6900. And again, if you want to get that 335 wide defensive guide, it is available in the description. There's going to be a link down there that you can click and it'll take you to the checkout where you can get that guide for just $15. Helps support the channel a ton and kind of keeps me able to be able to continue to bring you guys uh, tips and strategies on a daily basis.